YouTube gave him this platform and gave James Charles the same exact platform and promoted the hell out of them. They were always on the trending page all the time. This video that I'm gonna watch is a channel that I have never seen in my life. I have never seen a video by David Dobrik. Is that how you pronounce his last name? I know he's very popular. He has 14 million subscribers, but I have never seen a single video. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking for more porn stars in the vlog. <laughs> A porn star? I'm really well. Anyone's been actually asking that. Again. But there's a good chance that not too many people have been asking it. Okay, so what I noticed so far in this video is that a lot of this is fake for the camera. One person tells a joke that's funny and everyone laughs hysterically. Now let's go back again and see another one. Okay. What is he? Is that a cereal spoon? No, a big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Like who made It's like, it's, it's so phony. Well, what is funny? What is funny? The YouTubers that I follow bring up his name. He's like well respected in the community. So I thought I was gonna be entertained. And I am sadly disappointed. That's the first video on my Bliss Uncensored channel that got a lot of hate. David Dobrik's fans attacked the hell out of me. So I came out with a second video explaining why I did not like David Dobrik and his video. David Dobrik's audience are kids, but I find it very interesting that in his video, he has a porn star in the truck and they're talking about fucking and his audience are kids. I called it out. I knew shit was fake in their videos. I knew things were just for entertainment and for views. I can read people, I can read body language, I can read it in their facial expressions, in the tone of their voice. And that was just me reacting to one video that I saw from David Dobrik. And people that were actually there and present during the filming come out two years later and explain exactly what I noticed right away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. I'm just gonna be pretty straight. Okay? It's like the shit they say is not that funny. No, like he's like, <laughs> Big Pam, well, we're gonna come in with a laugh, and everyone has to like laugh as if like he said something funny. That's so fake. How can you do that? I just, I can't, I could never do that. He really uh, does that? Yeah. He would make, what would he tell you? Would he ever be like, he didn't laugh enough? No, but he'd be like, okay, guys, let's try, like, he, he redoes re stuff all the time. He's like, okay, let's try it. Okay, everyone just like laugh more when she says this or like something. That's so exhausting, so funny. Now, David Dobrik has been around for a long time, and I don't follow his content. I don't know how he was allowed to make these kinds of videos, these type, this type of content on YouTube without any type of consequence. And the content I'm speaking of is his racist, homophobic, sexist content. Oh, look at the Japanese food. We're trying to... Ooh. Yeah, there we go. First, we're starting off with... Skit. Like he would open the fridge and watermelon would fall out, or Alex and I think Zane were doing blackface. They were doing blackface with like Nutella, and Seth was there to like make light of it. And that's just a few clips. There's a lot more. You can't hide from your past. You have to face it, acknowledge it, take responsibility, take accountability. And this is when he tried to apologize. Hey, what's up, guys? I thought you guys are wondering why I had to delete my last vlog, and that's because I made an offensive joke that at the time I didn't think was too offensive. But after reading some comments, I realized that a lot of you guys didn't like it as much as I thought you were going to. For those of you guys who found the vlog to be offensive, I'm sorry you did. For those of you who didn't find it to be offensive, I'm sorry they did. So instead of completely deleting this... Let's rewind that again. Listen to what he says. Listen to his I'm sorry. 
<laughs> for those of you guys who found the vlog to be offensive, I'm sorry you did. For those of you who didn't find it to be offensive, I'm sorry they did. So instead of... I'm sorry for those who found this to be offensive. And for those who didn't find it offensive, I'm sorry they did. So he is not sorry for what he did. I don't even consider him to be ignorant. He sees nothing wrong with what he does and says. Now let's get to the serious allegations that's been going on lately. Seth was a black young male that was part of the vlog squad. He was the target of his racist jokes. But this right here is what most would consider S.A. I'm not going to say the term because YouTube might block my video. S.A. Two words. And it affected Seth tremendously. H3H3 podcast actually showed the video because David deleted it. So, let's watch it. Is we're watching it in the block screen. <laughs> so here it goes. This is a scary old man mask that he's been using to scare people for a while now. I'm gonna convince Seth that he needs to make out with Corinna while she's wearing that old man mask. Seth, are you okay with making out with Corinna? Yes. Yeah, so Corinna's gonna come out of my room before she has the mask on and she's gonna show me how weird she looks in her outfit. So stupid. I'm gonna tell her that it does look weird and that I need to go and add some more padding to make her look more like an old man. I gotta put padding into a condom. But instead of going to the room and adding more padding, Corinna's gonna hop out of the outfit and have Jason put it on his head. Or his head. gets freaked out when he realizes Jason. Seth did not consent to make out with another man. Just recently, which is getting a lot of attention, finally on David Dobrik. Our allegations, okay? The word is a four letter word. You guys know what that means, starts with an R. Now Insider made an article doing their research, hiring their lawyers to get the correct information to report on facts. David Dobrik and his vlog squad invited a group of girls to come have sex with one of his members. They served these underage girls alcohol. I believe they were around 20, 19 years old. While one was blacked out intoxicated, one of the vlog squad members had sex with her while she was passing out. That is considered R. The guy actually had a threesome while David and the, and the members are just joking about it. H3 Podcasts will actually show the clip. Let's go ahead and watch the video. Here's the video where we censored the faces of the girls. <laughs> got these girls over to have a five some, so hopefully I have a five some time. Ta-da! That's so creepy. Yes. That's like just. I started like knowing what we know after reading the whole article. It's just. It makes me sick. It makes my stomach. You know, he put this all in. So it's like, they definitely. So he goes, it's just amazing that he put that there. Yeah. He goes, they did not want to have sex with him. But after a bunch of alcohol and coercion, Dom was able to get him in the room against their will, basically against their stated desire when they entered. And you'll find that, you know, David kind of made it a plot point in his vlog. Like, he created this whole situation to see how Dom would react, hoping that, you know, it would create content for his vlog. But this is like hours later, so there, him and a few girls are in there having relations, and the guys go in there without asking permission and sneak, start watching for the vlog. They go, oh, we need a pet count for the vlog. Okay, alright. We got we got three in there. <laughs> Jordan's gonna peek in so he can describe it to me. Oh, 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 oh. A bunch. Well, everyone's oh, looking at him. Like, <laughs> we have to leave the apartment. <laughs> kind of getting horny just like listening to this. Okay. Okay. And I looked at the door and I saw this story right now. Holy shit. It smells like someone was murdered in here. Stop. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Why does he thank David? Was that your first threesome? Yes, it was. Thank you, David. So why is he thanking David? What is he thanking David for? Mm -hmm. Arranging the situation in which he could well, do that. 
Yeah, I'm just at a threesome, and I think we're all going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> See how fucked up that is? David does anything for views. And it's not just anything. He does illegal things for views. He takes advantage of people for views. He is someone I consider a horrible person. Yet he is a man that the YouTube world respects. I am confused. But finally, after this Insider article came out, they're finally exposing David for who he is. H3 Podcast, Trisha Paytas, Seth, after them trying to expose David and no one is taking the story, David would still not comment on it until after that article came out and he made an apology video. He fucked up his career with this video. And let me tell you, this just goes to show you how heartless this man is. I, and like I said, I feel that I'm good at reading people and body language. So this is what I took from this video. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Hey guys, it's David. Um, I wanna come on here real quick and address some conversations that have been going on on the internet. Um, I, you know, I've made over 600 videos and I've made a bunch of TikToks, Vines, Instagram stories, tweets, the whole thing. Um, and I'm obsessed with what I do. I love being able to make people happy for a living. And that's all that I wanna do. Um, he wants to make sure that he points that out. He tries to make people happy for a living. As if he's doing some type of service to the world. He wants you on his side. He wants you to believe that he is a good man. He said consent is something that's super, super important to me. Whether I'm shooting with a friend or shooting with a stranger, I always make sure that whatever the video I'm putting out, I have the approval from that person. And there's been allegations from people that, are, that have been in his videos. A few of them tell him not to post the video. He won't take no for an answer. He'll put the pressure on you until you say, okay, fine, just go ahead and post it. Or he'll just pay you off. That's what rich people in power do to silence their victims. Um, and I also acknowledge that there's times where a person can change their mind and they decide that they no longer want to be associated and no longer want to be in the video that I'm putting up and then I'll take the video down. And there's also been moments where I've looked back on videos and I realized that these don't represent me anymore and they're hurtful to other people and I don't, I don't want them up because I've, I've grown, you know, as a content creator, as a person and I don't agree with some of the videos I've posted. Uh, if you don't agree with those videos you've posted, why have you not taken accountability for your actions? I believe in people changing. But David still makes comments on his views podcast that are still not okay. It took a whole article for you to finally say something about your actions. With the Seth situation, I'm sorry to Seth because I, like I said, I... I he does not mean that apology. When he goes like that, I'm sorry to Seth. He's got so much pride that he does not want to say it, but feels the need that he has to, just to shut everybody up so he can move on with his life. Let's look at that again. Um, with the Seth situation, I'm sorry to Seth because I, like I said, I, I just want to make videos. He does not want to say it. Where everybody in it, you know, whether you're participating or watching, is enjoying and having a good time. And I miss the mark with that one. And I'm really sorry. I, I truly, truly am. Um, then why haven't you reached out to him personally instead of making this video? Because Seth has tried to call you, but you will not answer. If you truly are sorry, you would have that conversation with him. With people in my life that I don't film with anymore, um, like Dom and you know the other people that I no longer film with, I, I chose to distance myself because I don't align with some of the actions and I don't I don't stand for any kind of misconduct and I I'm I was just I've been really disappointed by some of my friends and for that reason I've set plain victim. You see how he hunches over when he says that? I've been really disappointed with some of my friends. He's playing victim. Let's watch that again. I've been really disappointed by some of my friends. And for that reason, I've separated from a lot of them. Um, you do realize that you are the main person that has done horrible things to people. So who are you to criticize or judge the other ones? Come on, man. With any video I make, my main purpose is to make people happy and, and inspire people. And I just, 
I never want anything to get in the way of that. And I'm sorry if I've let you down. And things like that won't happen again. And I learned from my mistakes. Um, and I also believe that actions speak a lot louder than words. And, you know, you can take my word for it that I'm going to change, but I'll also show you and I'll prove to you that, you know, the mistakes I made before won't be happening again. Um, but, yeah, that's it. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you later. He tries to play so innocent. Well, yeah, that's it. Well, that's it, guys. I'll see you later. He tries to play that innocent young role. David, people are catching on to you now. All right, I really had to make this video because people like him and people like James Charles who sends pictures to minors and admits to it, yet YouTube allows them to, to have this big platform always promoting the hell out of them. This is white privilege. This is David Dobrik's privilege. This is James Charles' privilege. YouTube, you have to do better. People who follow David Dobrik need to do better. I will always speak my mind. This is uncensored. Because some of the things that I say, you may not agree with, you may not like because you guys are such super fanatics to the point you are manipulated. You see nothing wrong with your favorite influencer. Until shit comes out to the light, then some of you guys actually open up your eyes. And this is one of the examples in why I do what I do. All right, you guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.